April is Autism Awareness Month. Emergency officials say a program to bridge gaps between first responders and people with autism is working well. A Murray County 911 became one of the first in the country to use the life-saving database. News 2's Corey Johnson with details. I don't understand how it is to have a child with autism, but a lot of families do. Fabian Odin, a lifelong first responder, developed the Rapid Guardian database in Murray County in 2022. The countywide database helps first responders when they arrive at a home by giving them important information about the person with autism who lives there. This includes any sensitivities to sounds, light, or other needs. And as long as it's helping them out at night, knowing that if their child elopes, they can still sleep and you know, there's a plan in place. It's the best feeling that I could ever imagine. More than 40 people and their information have been put into the database so far. Murray County 911 dispatch officials say the program is helping to save lives. Any time that uh, you can save a few seconds in, in the 911 world, seconds matter. So we're always looking to save a few seconds. In the last two years, Rapid Guardian's features have expanded, including the option for first responders to pull up a map that will automatically show where individuals with autism live who've submitted their info and other features like reverse search. Now the dispatchers have the opportunity to do a reverse search. For example, if an individual is um, out on the road and say they've eloped from their home, the 911 caller can give the dispatcher the demographics of that individual and the dispatcher can go into the database now and run a reverse search just based off the demographics. The program is currently only available in Murray County, but Odin has drafted a bill to get it started in every county throughout the state. Now he says he just needs the support and the funding. This is one of those things that it's, it's bipartisan. It doesn't matter if you sit on the left, doesn't sit on the right. This is a growing issue in Tennessee. It has to be solved. And if we keep neglecting it, it's going to keep being a problem. Corey Johnson, News 2.